Hello YTPC, this is Steve and you're watching Smoking Cardboard. I decided to make a video of a series of sorts of trying different Wessex blends. I just got some Wessex tobaccos in the mail and I thought I would start reviewing some of these in a very informal fashion. So we have some of this Wessex Sovereign. Um, I got some Wessex Balkan Supreme. I got Wessex Classic Virginia. And then I got Wessex Campaign Flake. And then fine, not finally, I guess I got two more. Wessex Burley Slice. And then I got uh, Wessex Curly Block. So anyway, I was gonna try this Sovereign Curly Cut first. If I can get it open. So it comes in that packaging there. Voila piece of paper smells really good uh, smells like tobacco surprise 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 so I am going to load up my pipe here get going and I'll be back with my thoughts on this sovereign all right I have it lit up now I'm smoking this in my Mark Tinsky coral rusticated billiard with a nine millimeter filter. No dry time out of the tin. Uh, I could just load it up and light it up. It's perfect moisture level for that. My uh, <clears throat> immediate impression is that it's very tasty. Uh, it tastes like Virginia, burly, some maybe a little bit dark fired. Where if I look at it, that's kind of what it looks like too. Uh, there's some darker, darker coins. And then some lighter ones. I don't know if you can see any of that. Um, really smooth. Not getting any harshness. I'm not sensing uh, any topping or noticeable casing like sugar this is it's similar to like some of the other spun cuts like uh, Mac Baron dark twist I think except that one's gonna be different because it does have this like brown sugar So let me uh, smoke this down further and I'll come back. All right, I'm back. I'm uh, two thirds of the way down. And this tin is, as far as I know, like brand new. Um, so it doesn't have age on it, but the tobacco definitely tastes like it does. Uh, so it's definitely delicious, delicious. <coughs> oh, inhaled something. Um, I'd say it's medium, uh, for flavor. Like, um, it's, 
it's the right amount for me. <laughs> um, yeah, it just it tastes really good. Um, I don't know notes wise. You're definitely tasting the dark fire Kentucky that's in this. I'm not really good at uh, picking out uh, Perique, but like the retro pile kind of has like a spiciness to it. Um, but I'm not sure that I could be just the dark fired. This is like a blend I could smoke every day. Like I wouldn't get grow tired of it. So it's not really uh, fatiguing, like some blends you can't have all the time. So I would highly recommend this. It reminds me of uh, most closely, the more I smoke this, to this, uh, the Mozek VB t twist or whatever, uh, which no one has had or it's really, it's that one package has got a bunch of that that I wanted because I like it so much so this is a a very good blend I would not be surprised if it was similar to some other spun cuts that are out there that I haven't had like uh, Three Nuns and uh, De Blown or the De Blown De Oro from 7L or something I don't know So, very good. I would get a bunch of these if they were available. I guess that's all I have. Just chilling. No kids today. Until later today. So just enjoying my pipe. And might go for a bike ride. It's a really lovely day. Like 70 two degrees is supposed to be today just perfect and this smoke is awesome in an awesome pipe all right see you guys peace